All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second episode of the What's the Deal With podcast. I'm Flo, and I'm joined by The Straw. Hello, hello. And we have a guest with us today, Brewing. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, of course. Um, well, hello, everyone. I'm Brewing Weaver. I'm a 16-year-old uh, Dutchman. Uh, I currently started my first year studies at the Nijmegen University doing physics and as a hobby also stream sometimes don't do it as often but when I do I uh, do some horizon speed runs uh, mainly New Game Plus Ultra Hard and Smack Percent of course but uh, I'm sure we'll talk about that later we but definitely yeah, that's, will uh, that's me most important category of horizon <laughs> that definitely yeah, agree Smack Percent runners in a row now so <laughs> Uh, who would be the third smack percent runner in a row if Saft, we do that? Soft. Saft. Soft. Soft, if you're here, would you be interested in uh, being the third smack percent runner in a row mm. on the podcast? <laughs> nice. It would be poggers. Made just... up smack percent anyway. Then, then it'd just be a podcast about smack percent. Just. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want it to be What's just the... about Smack Percent. What's the deal with Smack Percent? That's just a new title. <laughs> we just changed the, the complete name. <laughs> yeah, who who actually did invent Smack Percent? Um, I think it was Indica. I don't know. Do you even know her? I think I do. Right? She's a she. It's a she, right? Yeah. yeah. She's in my Discord server, so. Do you know who she Yeah, I mean, I haven't just, been in any streams. Yeah. So I think I think I've been in one stream, but that's it. Okay. Yeah, but I think oh, she I... came up with it like over a year ago already, and it was of that's course not just old. a meme, just Gildan being awesome and smacking Aloy. Um, but I'm not sure whether the smack was originally like the the center, like the the whole point of the meme, it was more just Gildan in general. <laughs> but um, then if it, if the point is just Gildan, where do you end time? Uh, it, it wasn't a run, I don't know. First, I think it was um, just more of a meme and then it turned into a run. I don't know if the end originally was even the smack, but uh, originally it was, was called Gildan percent more often than smack percent, I think, and then it turned into, into smack percent. And mm. then it really uh, kicked off, I guess. But there was some time between it being invented and it really kicking off. Yeah, because as far as I remember, I think I only remember Smack Percent like maybe a few months back, like maybe four or five months. I don't I remember think... it being that old. Yeah, it is, it is pretty old, I think. Like a year at least. Yeah, I, I, I got the leaderboards uh, like five months ago because I had the world record for two days and then you took it from your brain. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember you had the world I mean, record. Straw, to be fair, your record wasn't very strong if I remember correctly. No, I haven't done any smack percent. It was 11 percent. minutes or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, even at the time, the record was Elks, right? With uh, the first sub 10, um, 959. Yeah, it was Elks. Uh, I did, yeah, I think L got a 959 indeed. And then I beat it. I think I yeah, beat I, it to like a 940 or something. I think I beat it before that. I got a oh, 950 yeah, maybe. and got it down, I think, to a 955. And then you and Kyder took it from there. Well, it, it was Kyder joining a while later. Like quite a while later, I think. Yeah. I mean, the Kyder is in uh, in reference to well, me and you brewing a uh, way newer runner. Yeah, definitely. Like at first, it was uh, me who had the world record with the nine forty, and then I think it was Soft who beat it. Did Soft hold the record? Yes, I think he yeah. did. He did mm -hmm. for a while, and then I got it back, and then I got like a nine twenty or something. I don't, I don't remember that at all, to be honest. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then Jack came in mm -hmm. with the sub-9, which was insane. Yeah. And yeah. I kind of gave up at that point. 
I think, because it was just impossible to beat him without a PC. <laughs> and then I got a PC. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I tra- started competing for it too. And I think while I got close to Steph's, or no, Jack's um, 9, 842, which he still has at the moment, Kaido came in and he just wrecked it. And he, I think he got the first sub 840. Or maybe, no wait, I beat Jack and then I had the world record with the 839. And then Kaida um, got it again uh, for the first time in a few days. And then uh, he got the world record. And since then, our like <laughs> ping pong of the world record has begun. Smack percent he... world record ping pong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he got it, I got it, he got it, I got it. But he's he's had the world record for a longer time over the last few months. Mostly because when I got it, he immediately got it back. And then it took a while for me to catch up again. And then he immediately got it back. Yeah, because I remember there was a period like a few weeks ago, I think it was. I don't think... Or it could have been a month or two ago. Um, when uh, you would get the record and then not even yeah. a few hours later, Kyder yeah. would have it back already. Yeah, that's like a month ago where I got a, uh, I think it was a 8.35, then he beat it that same evening. Yeah, I th- And that I think may have happened well... even twice. <laughs> <laughs> Might have. Might have. The traumas are still there. <laughs> What's the deal with Smack Person with all Smack Runners when? <laughs> we need to do that. We need to do that. Mm-hmm. After we've had everyone on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Good point, we, Straw. We talked about it with Kyder on the last one. That we were gonna get every Smack Prison Runner on the podcast at the same time. Oh, that would be and interesting. And we were also talking about how, having only you and Kyder as well. Because you're the ones who have been going like back and forth. Yeah. The, the record. What's the deal with Smack Percent Ping Pong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... Five, five world records. Alright. Why, actually, why did you get initially interested in running Smack Percent? Because obviously it's a fun meme category and all, but why did you grind it so hard? Uh, I don't know. I Originally it wasn't... For me, I just wanted to get a nice time in every meme run and I think I held the world record in every one of them at one point in time when they were like maybe a week after they were put on the category put on the category extensions on speedrun.com yeah and then um, uh, I think smack is also just the most fun of the three to be honest because abs is a lot of rolling and <laughs> you would be percent is also a lot of riding on the mount but uh, yeah. it was mostly just Theft and Jack and then later Kaida bringing the times down and that being a lot of competition that wanted me to compete as well. Because, yeah, if if Theft didn't beat it the first time, maybe we would still be at a 9.30 or something. And if Jack then didn't push it to a sub-9 and if Kaida didn't... Um, then compete with me that whole time, then we would still be at a higher time, but they all did, and then, yeah, that just really motivated me, and now, yeah, now it turned into this. Now it's turned into this insanely optimized yeah. category. Maybe, maybe I want to say the most optimized category of, of Horizon. I would agree no, with except that. For, except for Hunting Crowns, maybe. Yeah, There's but I mean, no can you, can you really seconds, consider... I mean... <laughs> Yeah, you can really grounds. consider hunting grounds as runs. Yeah, like, like yeah, true. But of the rest, it's the most optimized. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something, but now I don't remember what. <laughs> nice. Terrific. On the topic of uh, how you got into it, how did you get into running Horizon as a whole? Um. Well. Last year, I think it was the beginning of the spring break, 
I had this game, Horizon Zero Dawn, that I had already played three years ago, but I only played it until a certain point, and then I stopped playing it. But I always wanted to give the same as game a second try, because it was a Dutch game, and I really liked the looks of it, like the the dino machines. So I decided to give it a second try. Dutch and I, so I loved it a lot more the second try, and I really enjoyed it, and I did, I think, three full playthroughs, and it put a lot of time into it. And then, just for fun, I wanted to... Um, uh, check out a speed run. I sometimes do with the games that I play, just see what they do, you know. And then yeah. I, of course, came to Elk on his YouTube and I watched that video. And I remember that three years ago, I also saw that a video of him. I remember the same dude. And um, I had created a Twitch account like a few weeks prior to that because of another streamer that I wanted to watch. But I didn't use Twitch as much. But it was like, hey, I'll just check it out you know maybe it's fun and um started chatting in his chat and it was a lot of fun with a lot of new people a lot of awesome people and i stayed there and then i also uh checked out some other smaller horizon runners mainly rob um i think ian and esprit too and um in those smaller streams uh, it's more you talk a lot more with the streamer and then they ask, do you maybe want to run the game too? And I was like, no, definitely not. Because I really don't have the time for that. And I don't think I uh, I would like that. And yeah, then understandable. I think one day I was in Rob's stream. And I was like, let me just see how fast I can do the proving. Because I wanted to compare myself to maybe I could do it as fast as Rob or something like that. I thought like that would be very fast if I could do that. Then I tried That's it a bit, and I uh, it was pretty quick, and I really liked it. And uh, then, like a week later, I decided to practice the full run. And I did that, and I did that a few times, and then I did a f put a full run on YouTube and submitted it, and then did a few more runs, and eventually started streaming it on Twitch too. And then, yeah, and then I was streaming on Twitch, doing runs. <laughs> Then it just went from there. Yeah. I remember my mm. first run got rejected. No. <laughs> Wait, why? No. Okay, so uh, I was doing a run, and because I was streaming so long, uh, my PS4 got a little, little hot. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah. So the stream blacked out for, like, I think it was like 12 minutes in the middle of the run. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so Elk rejected the run. Yeah, damn. Imagine that that would have sucked. <laughs> I, I can just imagine an alternate reality where that run got rejected and I'm like, well, never going to play this game again. Yeah. <laughs> but you did. Why? I don't really know. I think it was just I saw how unoptimal my time was. I was like, that's, that's a terrible time. I can't live with having time that bad. So I did another yeah. one, and then I thought, I can improve this, and I did another one, and another one, and another one. And now I've done a few hundred runs. <laughs> nice. nice. I think I remember when you were, like, uh, just a new runner. And yeah, I think we did some races, didn't we? Yeah, we did lo the last part of last year. We did some races, but even before that, I remember that you... I think you were really fast with getting from like a two two forty, like that's what normal beginners get. Uh yeah. two hours forty minutes to uh, like closer to two hours. I think you were really fast with that, like within a few runs you got to that. And I was really surprised because I think you were you were a really good runner. Or at least you got into it really fast. Yeah, and now I mean you are you are high level runner, of course. Yeah, I mean, I'm also kind of surprised. It still feels strange just looking at the leaderboards and seeing my my name at the top of some of them. Because I've always thought of, you know, the, the top few runners of the leaderboard, like, I'm not getting close to those guys. There's no way. <laughs> I can't get close to that. Yeah. And, yeah, now I am. Nice. 
Yeah, I also didn't think that at the beginning, of course. But uh, I also didn't really... Like, the first second place I got was Nunia plus Ultra Hard, but I got that rather quickly because it was Elk with a 150 and then Esprit with a 2 hour 5 minutes, so... There was a, a pretty big, big gap. gap. Yeah. I mean, the gap is still big n right now. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to close it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, did you ever run a game before Horizon? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I never was even into speed. But, well, one dude, Darkfather AU, watched a few of his GTA speedruns, but never really been into speedruns or ran a game. And HTD is just, as I said, I looked it up as I did do sometimes, and then for some reason I just got into it. Did, and maybe, did you draw, by uh, the way? Have I ran any games before Horizon? No. Uh, I, I did the same as Brewing, but because I got uh, Horizon in like right before Christmas. La no, not last year. I don't remember exactly what year. Maybe last year. And I got it in February, and um, I played through it and thought it was the best game ever because I watched a playthrough of this uh, Norwegian YouTuber called uh, Rondule, and he did a Horizon playthrough like when he first came out. And uh, since I was only like 12. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't. I wasn't allowed to buy Horizon for myself, so I saved up money uh, for three years. Like, just whenever I found something on the ground, I just picked it up and saved up for Horizon. And then I bought it. Just pick up twenty cents from the ground. Ah, that's gonna go towards the Horizon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so I did it without my dad knowing, because I know he would have been been really mad at me if I if I bought it like and he knew about it because he don't like the fact that I spend money on games um, and so I bought it and played through it and of course thought it was the best game ever so then I looked up elk when I was done with the casual pl playthrough because I wanted to see how this game is speedrun like I do that with a lot of games too, and I saw Elk, and I was like, hmm, maybe I could try to speedrun this. I did a tried an offline run, I think I got uh, like three hours or something, and then I tried once again, got to 240 I think, let me check on my uh, account here, yeah, I just kept going. Really? Because I w my goal was to come top 10 in the New Game Plus story. And I did it. So I'm pretty happy. Now I'm going to try to reach top 5. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because you're 7th place right now. Yeah. Yeah, so the first, uh, first run I submitted, I got 2 hours and 38 minutes. And then the next one was 2 hours and 14 minutes. And then two hours and eight minutes, and then two hours and five minutes, and then one hour and fifty fifty seven. What did you did you yeah. do runs in between that, or did you suddenly jump from two or five to one fifty seven? Uh, I jumped directly from two or five to one fifty seven. Like, I didn't do anything special, but I, there was a lot of skips that I didn't do just because I didn't think I had the skill skills to do it. And so um, I practiced them offline. And then, uh, yeah, I tried them in a run and then it worked. So I saved a lot of time. Yeah, there's because still, I remember. I there's remember. There's so many skips that I don't do. Or just forget about because I don't really pay attention to new skips and stuff. It's completely so zoned out while doing runs. Huh? It's completely zoned out while doing runs. Yeah, I just listen to music, watch some videos, or just talk to chat constantly. That's not how you, you speedrun professionally, Straw. 
I never. I'm not a professional though. <laughs> well, I I have heard your awesome singing voice too, especially yes. in the song uh, "Paradise City." You can sing oh, with your day job. Well. Well. Uh -huh. uh, that reminds me. I have to play "Burnout Paradise" on stream. Michael wanted me to do that. Because it has yeah. the Paradise City song when you start it up. Ooh, nice. I remember yeah. before you came along, I guess, Straw, that was a huge gap. When I was just on out, there was a huge gap between Esprit's 201 and then I think Slow Cube is 153. And now that gap is sort of bridged, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Straw is the bridge, I guess. Yeah, but there's still four minutes between him and Cuba and him and Esprit. Yeah. Um, so, moving on, do you use photo mode a lot when playing Horizon? I don't. <laughs> I um, uh, have could never you used... Not using photo mode? I have never used photo mode before, like what? yesterday or like two days ago. Maybe I've opened How? it and looked at it. Like, no, uh, no, wait, wait. I don't like taking Brewing. pictures. <laughs> How? How? I don't like taking never? pictures. You get the fuck I'm sorry. Off the get the fuck off our podcast. <laughs> uh, like when I was searching for a new uh, profile picture, uh, then maybe it was the first time I really got into using photo mode. <laughs> Maybe in the very beginning when I started playing, I played around with it just a bit to see what the settings are with it, if I could do something cool with it, but I don't really don't, like taking pictures. You have never eaten Ben and & Jerry's and now you're telling us you have <laughs> never used photo mode before. Yeah. Days ago. <laughs> you're a disgrace. What the fuck? You're an insane person. <laughs> you should go to mental asylum. <laughs> but maybe one of the reasons too is because I don't even know how photos even work on PlayStation, so I never really bothered to understand how it works. Hold on the share button. <laughs> just, yeah, just I, press the I, share I've button. I've never used the share button. I, I just uh, how play games. How do you start your streams then, if you've oh, never pressed the button? That's maybe the first time I ever used the share button. <laughs> when I started streaming, before that the share button was just an inconvenience. Because if you accidentally <laughs> press it, you went to a weird place. <laughs> 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 so you, you only use your share button to start the stream. Never take yeah. me. If no, you press I, the share I never. button, you just go to a weird place. <laughs> yeah. I never really ac acknowledged the existence of whatever was over there. Damn. But yeah, I, I've never taken any pictures on, um, um, on PlayStation. The only times, like, I maybe accidentally took a screenshot and I was like, oh shit, the memory's getting full maybe because of all the screens screenshots I accidentally take. <laughs> that was the only, only thing that bothered me about it. I think I think I mentioned this uh, when we had Kyder on, but I have a few hundred pictures of me killing bandits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that many pictures because I only do it like when I'm bored. Yeah, uh, I mean I same, think, but I think I have maybe 150 pictures of just like Aloy standing in places and sunsets and stuff. Yeah, uh, um, that's the same with me, but the difference with me is I get bored, I load up to maybe take some pictures, and then three hours later I'm still taking pictures. Yeah. <laughs> nice. If you, if you, Fleur, if you look in Hidden Opinions Discord in virtual life, you can see that I spammed 48 photos in one day. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> The, like so, when I got bored in the game, I just went killing machines. I, mean, I, I same, really don't have the patience of taking pictures. I when I get bored in Horizon, I take my ice rail and kill rats with it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's but I, I must admit that aim, aim training. <laughs> I must admit that when I used photo mode like today and yesterday, I didn't really hate it. I mean. I kind of enjoyed, well, not really enjoyed, but 
I found it nice at some of the pictures I took looked nice and I was like, oh, that that's fun, I guess. So it was less less tedious than I expected. Hmm. But yeah. You have the platinum trophy in Horizon? Yeah, I do. So okay. I think the first platinum I got on PlayStation. Never mm. gone platinum before, but Ryzen first game I even hundred percent it in the game because I just really loved it. With the other okay. open world games I just play it and then I'm like, okay, I'll get platinum or I'll hundred percent it and then I just don't because most games get boring after you complete the main mission, then there's just some weird side quest left. But I know yeah. that's different with Horizon. It's more okay. interesting. Yeah, like side quests actually are have some good story to them especially like, gilden yeah gilden one is so good okay uh i have don't have the platinum and i also have never 100 percent at the game <laughs> nice. uh, why or bob <laughs> okay well yes so no no wait Tough can't I don't... You. you're a mod Fuck. yes i'm immune <laughs> I have the power against Poplar. death's bobs. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think the reason is... I don't know, I keep thinking like, oh, maybe I'll play some Horizon, but then I just end up doing a run that I never really get the chance to... You know... 100%, but that's hopefully gonna change oh. very soon. When I do... The main game Hundo run. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> the run is gonna be your first Hundo ever. Oh, well, I guess. Can't time yeah. out. I've been you timed might... out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Epic. Well, I guess um, when you practice, you're gonna have to one hundred percent it. Yeah. The the thing is, damn, it takes long because I'm taking like notes of everything that I'm doing. And you written like an essay. <laughs> it, it's basically an essay. I only have the first two hours of the run on paper, and it's already two thousand words. Oh damn! The run elk's run is yeah. six hours. Wow. Uh, you could probably like uh, send that in if you ever have like a written test at school. <laughs> <laughs> Just send it in. Teachers won't <laughs> check it anyway. Yeah. I spent the first two weeks of my summer vacation last year getting the plat tro trophy in Horizon. See, it's Seth. Nice. Seth, I'm doing uh, I'm doing main game hundo because I don't feel like I can commit to doing a full hundo, especially with my loads. Ah, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I know. But see, here's the thing: even main game hundo with my loads, that's gonna take like seven hours. And I don't think I can commit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, doing... the loads are annoying. Yeah, it's gonna basically become a ten-hour run with my loads. So, yeah, I don't think I can commit to that. Yeah, I understand. I guess that would be a. Uh... Wait, it wouldn't be. I have, a... I have a laptop now that's fast. I wanted to say that would be a pain in the ass for me too, but. Uh... On your PS4, it would be. <laughs> it would be, yeah. I wonder how Forbidden West is gonna play on my PlayStation. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's gonna be very bad. Are you gonna play? Wait, are you gonna play Forbidden West on PS4? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because, well, PS5s are expensive, <laughs> so okay. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna play on PS4 or PS5. It just depends on uh where the price drops by the time the game releases, but I don't think I'm going to be counting on it. I should ask my friend yeah. if I could borrow his PS5 for Forbidden West release. <laughs> I wonder if he'll let me. I just got him to play Horizon again, so... Maybe. I'm never... Oh, I'm not gonna buy the PlayStation 5, I think. Uh, not yet, or not are you just yet, not going to buy sure. it as a whole? And then, um, um, yeah, 
I, I don't know. I don't. There are not many games that I would want to play on that, and there are enough games that I would want to play on PC. So I don't feel like a PlayStation Five is necessary for me, and That's it's true. also not worth it to buy it just for Forbidden West. Yeah, I mean, I have the same thing. I don't know what other games I would play besides Forbidden West on PS Five. Great support. All right. Um, so one of the questions here: What is your favorite quest? But I think uh, I think that's already answered. <laughs> I think we all know what everyone's favorite quest okay. is. Let's do it. Besides the obvious one, then I guess. Yeah. I mean, I know I was asking you, but I do want to say the um, I think it's called Queen's Gambit, Optic Quest. Yeah, that that's really nice. That's almost that that almost should be a main quest. How seeing how good it is, because because I mean there is a lot of interesting story in that one, right? Wait, we're talking about the same one, right? With the one with yeah, Asha. I, yeah, the one where you. I I think we are talking about the same one. The one where you save the queen and the little kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That one. That, that's when a boat kill a thunderjaw. Yeah, 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 that one. Oh yeah, that's true. You kill it. I think I think that's one of the two quests that often gets suggested as should have been a main quest. I do agree with Queen's Gambit. Definitely looks like it could have been fit into the story. Yeah. This is uh, the other one. It people. It kind of ties into Forbidden West as well. Yeah. The, it... Yeah, Vanessa has a voice line where she talks about how she went to the Forbidden West for two years to set it up. Mm. So oh, what is the, the other one? Like, huh? What is the other quest that people typically mention when asked what side quests should have been main quests? Because I think there's always two. Two. Um... I don't know. Um... Uh, Raises bounty. Does Kyder? Which one is that? Is that the one from the prison? I think it is. What do you mean the one from the prison? Is that is that uh, not the one you where... get at Sunfall? No, the one where you go to the prison in the bottom left of the map, and then you have to trace down the three, uh, uh, well, traitors, I guess. I don't, I don't think I remember that one. I think I did play it, but I don't remember it. Then you go to uh, Sin, like Cliff, sort of, sort of, and then you there's this guy that blows himself up, and then you what? save one um, to next girl from a bandit camp. Well, you not say you don't save her, you kill her, and then um, another dude, which I can't remember. True, but uh, that's there's bounties when you uh wait. Let me just Google Traitor's Bounty real well quick. Marked, a well-liked Shadow Karja officer has been marked for death by High Priest Bahavis. There must be more to this than meets the eye. So, Banasha gives you the quest where you gotta save the Shadow Karja dude in, like, the mountains. Oh, where you save yeah. it? It is, it is the one you get at Sunfall, right? Um... um you, when you're there for Zero Dawn. Yes, yes. Yes, I think yes. Yeah. That's where Vanessa yeah. is. Yeah, I was talking about another quest. I thought that was yeah, with the bounty and stuff. I thought it was hunting the criminals, but if I guess you have to do you have to do traders bounty to unlock Queen's Gambit. Yeah. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. Gotcha. I remember when I did my first playthrough. Um, I did Queen's Gambit. I think I was like level seventeen or something. Because on my first playthrough, especially in the first like half maybe two-thirds of it i avoided a lot of the unnecessary content like fighting machines and stuff because i was scared of them so i barely got any levels and then i got to killing a thunder jaw at low level we're still the basic bow i think <laughs> nice you know, were you scared of machines during your first playthrough, Brie? Like, did you do the um, 
old hide in tall grass rat <laughs> and then just wait wow. for watchers to pass me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta rem yeah, I was definitely one of the, the like someone who used the all the sneaky pets, but was I really scared of machines? Um I was. I guess the most scared I was was in the um when you leave the very bottom cauldron with the stalkers in the the cave. That's scary. That 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 was just very scary. Do you remember that? I don't the jungle. And you go to the 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 cauldron that has been uh, occupied by the cultists, and then when you so leave, is that the one where you drop down into a hole first to get to the overridable door? I'm not sure, but like there's oh. sort of a bandit camp in front of it, which you the, first you're, you're need, and then you the, can go inside. You're, you're talking about the bandit camp in the jungle, next to the next to the spur flints. Uh, Hunting grounds. Uh, wait. What? What's with that? Ben the camp. That's. I think that's cauldron you're talking about. It is. It is wait, let me, let me just look it up. Is it the, the one next to the Kaja border? Let's put it that way. Mm, no. No. Wait. Is it? Is the one next to the Kaja border XI or RHO? I always forget. I don't know. So oh, I thought you had game knowledge. Okay, uh, it's um. You thought I had the, game knowledge? I didn't know where the fuck the card. The XIA cauldron. That's the one. It's psycho on the podcast. He would know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, XIA is the one with the with the stalkers, and then you just join an area, and a lot of stalkers are hiding, and that's that's I think I was was when I was really scared, but for the rest, it's not really a scary game, I guess. Yeah, I mean, for me, for me, it was just like, I was like, damn, there's machines. <laughs> I don't really know how else to put it. I was just, yeah, I guess just scared of the machines in general. Yeah. So what, I was what hiding is... all the tall grass. Like, if I, the second I saw a machine, I would crouch down and find tall grass and then pick them out Same. Like, one by one. I remember when you had to take down, that was actually the reason, um, the game, I got the game first when uh, my sister bought her PS4. So the game came with it, with it, and I remember I played through the childhood section. Because at the time I couldn't read English, uh, and the game's language wasn't English and I didn't know how to change it. Uh, the quest, of course, says kill three striders and get some blaze. And I didn't know what that meant, so I just kind of jumped down the zip line and then closed the game and never played it until <laughs> a few years later. Yeah. Nice. I not so kind of like me, I also played a little bit of the game and then I didn't play it for three years. I'm just imagining a situation where we both just never picked the game up again. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there are some people out there right now who played it for a bit and never picked it up. I think that's I mean, there, more there people than, are. I think there are quite a lot of people like that. I mean, it's often depressing when you, you, you go into achievements, right, and it says the percentage of players that achieved it. And then yeah. you look at the percentage of players that got the easiest achievement, and it's less than, like, 90%, I think. Yeah, but that's with all games. I think. Yeah, but it's, it is kind of sad to see people that just got the game and then just didn't do shit. <laughs> I mean, Horizon like was when you, o when you open the game and um, go out the, the life pod for the first time, you get the um, achievement touch water or something. Only 50% of people have gotten that achievement. <laughs> Wait, there's an achievement for touching have. water? Symbolic, I have never gone outside of the life pod. Wow. That, that's so little people. So few people. Brewing, what is your favorite skip? Favorite skip? Uh, I really like... I really like... What do I really like? Um, Guy Prime skip. skip? I really like Guy Prime skip and Tabla skip in Smack Percent. I, I like, like it too. I like the and standard I, I love Tabla skip. skip. 
I As really a... love bomb skip. I don't know, the... but I just find it so awesome. It is. It is pretty cool that you can just bomb up there. Yeah. It's such a... I don't want to say weird time save, but it feels so weird because it feels like such a small thing. But it actually saves a decent amount of time, right? Yeah. I don't remember how much. Yeah, quite a few seconds. Wouldn't be like, able we... to get a smack somewhat record without it. I mean, that's true, but you, you also need a PC. Yeah, <laughs> that's true too. <laughs> Um, but with with the normal table loss skip, right? Not the one in Smack Percent, but the normal one. I like its concept. I like the fact it, it's really cool. <laughs> it just sucks. Okay, it's it is the worst to actually do. But as a concept, I think it's great. Yeah. How much time do you spend on runs in general? Like, just that includes practice and streaming runs. For me, besides streaming, I almost never practice. I think the only time I, think, I, I think practice that's... is when I sort of grinded smack offline for a bit, when I got the 825. But besides that, I never practice beside, uh, besides streams. Maybe last year's summer I did a bit more, but... No, I don't. Maybe if I get a really good run and it dies at zero dawn, I'll get mad and practice zero dawn a lot again. But yeah, that that would be it then. Yeah, I think I think that's pretty similar with me. I I had a period. I think it was when I my new game plus story time was around one forty seven, one forty eight ish. It was a time when I would just do a bunch of offline practice where I would just. Go through the run basically in practice sections a bunch, but aside yeah. from that, I don't really do a lot of offline practice. What about you, Straw? Almost nothing. <laughs> when, I, when I don't play Horizon, I play Apex, and I uh, almost every time I play Horizon, I stream it. So there, there's barely any practice at all when it comes to Horizon for me. Yeah. So we are just three amateurs not practicing. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're just we're just we're just we're forward. just no scrubs. practice. But somehow made it to top ten. <laughs> See, that's that's why RC and Elk have a speed. They do practice. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, practice if helps. As, as no, never knew that. Matthew, we would have been practice improves best. your play. What a shocking concept. What? That's weird. <laughs> did, did you also know? Who does that? I heard, heard someone in a dark alley told me this, but if you play well, the time you get at the end decreases. So playing well leads to better times. Like, I never knew that. What? What? How? Oh my... I never realized that. So I was How just playing was really possible? badly and I got shitty times and then someone told yeah. me that. Then I was like, oh, maybe you should play well and then I got a world wreck. <laughs> I thought I thought playing badly was the better strategy. <laughs> yeah, me too. Nice. <laughs> nice. So I got a bit distracted. My uh, uh, stepdad came in and asked me if I could help him, like, lift something. But Your I couldn't. answer was no. <laughs> Yes, I said no. I have more important you, stuff. You're, you're a strong I have more important <laughs> stuff to do. I'm talking to all my internet friends, Dad. <laughs> no yeah. time to help you lift. <laughs> By the way, I told you earlier about the screenshot stuff. Yeah. I just looked up my screenshots on PlayStation, mm -hmm. and all of all of them are just either accidental or uh, trophies. Yeah, and looking through them is just a history of all the play games I've played. Like at the very beginning, like all the way down, is just a bit of GTA, and then uh, what is this game? Oh, Minecraft, <laughs> Minecraft Story Mode, even one trophy of that. And Minecraft then... Story Mode. <laughs> I remember uh, when that was popular. Yeah. Down tedium. Then it's FIFA. Then it's Far Cry 4, a lot of Far Cry 4. And then more FIFA. Do you GTA. remember 
And then you know it's a that? little bit what? of HED, like a few mm. trophies. And the final trophies are, um, like, I have one trophy, first ancient vessel found in Olin's, uh, where you kill Olin or save Olin. And then my last trophy is victorious with War Chief, so Ring of Metal. And that's where I played it. Then it's more GTA in FIFA. <laughs> Wait, you uh, played it until War Chief and then you quit? Yeah. That seems like a very strange place to quit because that's where the story really starts picking up in my Yeah, I don't know. I just, <laughs> just quit, I guess. And then it's watch, like it. watch Dogs a lot. Then Battlefront, Glory Mode, and more FIFA. Then Assassin's Creed. Overcooked small Minecraft. Do you, more FIFA. Do you even remember and then what... HCD or HD. Yes. Horizon, let's go. Best game. Best game. Only game worthy of playing. <laughs> yes. Do you even remember what the first game you ever played was brewing? Well, um, I guess that would be either like on the computer of my brothers like back when i was five very little that would be rise of nations is a game that i still play with my brothers to this day we mm -hmm. played that like 15 years ago too well i, I was one but like 10 years ago we played that too pong and, michael says and, uh, pong. and pong. battlefront 2 too like Battlefront 2, two the old one from 2005, played that some little bit when I was really young. And also Rome Total War. I don't know if you know that game. It's uh, not that popular, but it did get a remaster this year, which I am playing right now. I don't really know that many games, to be honest. I only know the games I own and some some that I've seen others play, but I really don't know much about games. Yeah, me, me too. But then after after those games, which I played with my brothers on their uh, PCs, it was when I got my Nintendo DS, when I started playing more games like Mario Nintendo Kart, DS, yes. let's go. And the best um, that the was game. my first console, I think. I <laughs> also played FIFA 11 on my Nintendo DS. Ooh, it's nice. Played that with my brother a lot. I think the and first thing I, I ever played was... Um, I don't remember exactly. I think it's on the Wii, the Nintendo Wii, or PlayStation 2. It was some bus games, or... Bus games? Yeah, but like bus, you know, monkey bus, dino bus. What? I don't know, is that what it's called? <laughs> Do you mean straw? <laughs> there, there was some game, I don't know what the fuck it's monkey called. Bus. But... Monkey oh, bus. Monkey bus. Oh yes, my favorite game <laughs> from back in the 2000s. Dino Den. Dino Den on PS2. I have or, never heard of it. I don't know that. Dino. Yeah. Dorian saying so brewing is a strategy strategy game. Interesting. Well, I'm not really a strategy gamer. I like those two games, Rise of Nations and Rome to the War, aren't these strategy games. Um, but they are also a lot of nostalgia for me because I played them a lot when I was younger. I still enjoy them, especially Rome to the War, besides the nostalgia. But. Um, yeah, I'm not really a strategy gamer right now. Like, those are maybe the only two strategy games I've played. Jungle and Balloons, Party. Balloons, Balloons TD, Party. yeah. Balloons TD, Balloons let's go. Balloons TD, uh, also a strategy game which I've played. Very strategy. Pop, you put monkeys and they pop balloons. Yeah. More monkey game. <laughs> monkey <laughs> game. Just a pretty pog. Straw with his monkey boss and you with your monkey balloon popping. <laughs> I, I linked yeah. the video uh, of the dino. Wait, do you mean monkey, uh, super monkey balls? Because I think I know that. I, th I think I played, uh, I think I have the super monkey ball game. 
too but I don't really think I played it a lot. Let me Super let me have a look at the uh, video oh, you sent. Yeah. Oh. Actually, Dorian, uh, if you could, you could put that video up in the background while we talk. Yes, do that, Dorian. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That would be very interesting. Uh, that's the second game, by the way, because there, um, uh, a friend of mine, uh, uh, and uh, her parents, they have this cabin uh, at a place called uh, Uppdal, and they had have, have a PS2 there, and uh, we played, because we went uh, up there every New Year's Eve, and uh, I I'm I really don't like fireworks, so I went always went down to the cabin. And played Dino Day on the PS2. But before Hide that, from fireworks, used... play Dino Den. But before that, I, we, uh, they had a game called the uh, uh, Jungle Party, which instead of dinosaurs were uh, monkeys. But the uh, CD got scratched, so they had to throw it away. I'm so sad. Very depressing. Yes. Yeah, like I also played when I was really young. Those child childish game, you know. I also remember one game that I really enjoyed. That was about a guy that went to a circus and uh, did some things there, but I forgot the name, and I find that really uh, disappointing because I really want to search the game up again one time, but I don't know the name of it anymore. Isn't that annoying when you don't know the name of something and you want to look it up? Uh, I mean, I, yeah. think, I think one of the first games I played, I don't really remember, but it has to have been either Ocarina of Time 3D or possibly one of the uh, Super Mario Kart slash Super whatever card games on 3DS slash DS. played Super Mario 64 in my grandma's DS. Like one of the first DS that came out. I have never finished Super Mario 64 DS. I have never finished it either. I'm at, I, know, I think I'm at 67 stars, I think. Maybe more. I think the best file I have has like 40 stars, but it's because the controls suck, at least in my opinion. They're terrible. I don't want to play that again. I tried to do one of the um, uh, like early skips. I tried to learn how to speed on it, but holy fuck, it's so fucking technical. I did not make it work. <laughs> it, it, it's always weird to me that Super Mario, or just Mario runs, I guess, seem to almost never have glitchless categories. There's just, it would just take too long, probably. <laughs> but I mean, I found it. But... <laughs> you found it. Oh, yeah, by the way, Alton, this is a go to game. It's so fucking good. You have no idea. It is probably. <laughs> yeah, I know it's Den, right? Something? I know yeah, Den too. It's probably one of the best games ever made on the PS2. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> it is so fucking good. It looks like Mario Party. <laughs> it does. It, it kind of is like Mario Party. Wait, it is? I thought it would be like, uh, just a, just a, I don't know, a sort of platform style game, I guess. What now? It's just some, I, th I thought it would just be a platformer style game from its name and what it looks like. Wait, what game mode is this? I have played it before, but I don't remember what, what it is. <laughs> nice. You're supposed to jump as high as possible, I think. Oh yeah, you're supposed to time your jumps, maybe. By the way, the game that I was talking about with the car, the car's name is Bitbits. Name on Dutch. Bitbits. 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 But but. P U T T P U T T. I have never heard of that, to be honest. And for some reason, I have a really strong nostalgia connection with that game. I don't know why. 
How did I mean, you that is understandable. DDT? You tend to form strangely nostalgic connections with games in your childhood. Yeah. Also, this Madagascar game, like, uh, you know, the movies. It was yeah. a game. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not gonna I say remember movie, not much. It wasn't a Wii. Go get yelled at by himself. Uh, do it, do it, straw. No. Go ahead. Seth will be mad at me. Go lift. Go show off your strong arms. And I'm not surprised, to be honest, that there was a game of Madagascar because they make. Like still, but especially back then, I feel they made shitty games for everything. Yeah. It was just yeah. meant to be sell it, and you played maybe halfway through, and then you never played it again. Yeah. Blur, but the game mode that's on now is one of the best ones. It is a very the mini game right now. Yeah, the mini game. What do you have to do? You're supposed to. Um... So on the buzzer, there's like four colors. So you're supposed to press the color, and that's on the meat. And sometimes the buzzer would like glitch, and you wouldn't uh, press at all. So everyone would become really mad at at each other. <laughs> so it is Mario Party. <laughs> yes. It is. It, it just it just literally just looks notes. like a Mario Party ripoff to me. It's the original Not Mario Party. <laughs> It's the not... original <laughs> Mario Party. <laughs> but, but Straw, these are not even robot dinosaurs. What the hell? You only want robot dinosaurs. What do you mean? Did you imagine? Mario this is Party just is a, the This is this. just a beta version of the original Mario Party. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, I'll find a video of the Jungle Party stuff as well. Jungle Party bus. Uh, yeah, here it is. Oh no, one guy fell. Oh no! Oh, we jumped back. What a what? save! Oh no! Uh, another guy has fallen. Oh, there he goes again. A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. <laughs> that ad. I'm not sure. What? Why is that ad so well known? <laughs> I don't know. It's just random stuff that turns into memes for some reason. Yeah, I mean, I remember, yeah, I remember seeing that ad man. on TV. I don't actually remember seeing that on TV. It's just note, note from the memes. I do. I, I remember. Um. I, I don't really know. I saw. I mean, I went back when I used to actually watch TV. I saw a lot of Lego ads. I guess. I used to watch the Lego shows that were about Lego sets. Like, there was a Lego City show. I remember I watched that every time I had a chance. Like, I don't think, I think... The, the, the Lego City games. Do you remember those? Uh, I, game. I think I have one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I have never Legos played it. Game, Only my sister has played, played it. I think played I never got to complete. Uh, Lego Star Wars game. Yeah, I the complete saga. You know that. Yeah, yeah I have I have all of them. Almost. Okay, yeah, I played the complete saga on the Wii. It was such such a fun game. But at least that's Wii. how I remember it. I don't know. Maybe it's a really shitty game. But, uh... <laughs> no, I replayed it last year. It's so good. <laughs> Before I got my PC, I would just play old games. Mm, that's why I picked nice. up. Uh, Burnout Paradise again. Is a, I remember that game was really good. I got into, I mean, uh, emulating. I guess I, I learned how to use emulators recently, a few months ago. So I just started playing a bunch of older games. I guess like Super Mario Sunshine and um. Probably some others that I just not remembering. Michael played the bus game. Let's go. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> nice. What? Let's Michael. go, Michael. <laughs> okay, keep going, Flur. Yeah, no, but um, I'm surprised at the fact that. I mean, not surprised, but I like those games a lot. Um. 
don't know, I feel like I should have played them way sooner. Really? Didn't really have a point with this, I just... Did. <laughs> Final round. Um, Dor Dorian's talking about the new Skywalk Skywalker Saga game. I'm looking forward to that too, but... I Is feel that... like if they stray too mm -hmm. far from the old, like, art style and, um, like, the way they made the game, it's gonna be way less nostalgic and I'm gonna like it way less, but... If not but, nostalgic, then no good. Like, it would be very bad if they had dialogue, because LEGO games should not have dialogue. The, the, the LEGO games should not have dialogue? dialogue. No, Lego games, they don't, Lego people, Lego they don't talk, they, do they just say, huh? Like, hmm? <laughs> yeah, they, they really need, that like, sounds so games. weird to someone like me who's never played a Lego game before. Yeah, that's Lego characters don't talk, talk they're just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they just and, make noises. Yeah, and the death sounds are always very nice. <laughs> Those are <laughs> Minecraft the, villages. Yoda. Did you hear the, the Yoda death sound? If not, you should look it up. It's okay, just I didn't. I'm gonna look just, it up. <laughs> Yoda. Do I just look up Lego Yoda death sound? Yeah, you'll yeah. find it pretty quickly, probably. <laughs> death this is sound. So good. And when they die, you notice because their eyes oh, are crossed. That's what the Lego Yoda looks like. Oh no, I've seen that picture before. <laughs> okay, oh, it's I'm that gonna... sound! <laughs> oh, I know that sound. I know of course, that, sound. That, that game has the best playbook character in all history of games. You know what character I'm talking about, Straw? Wait, wait, uh, say that again. The best char playbook character in the history of all games is in LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga. Mm -hmm. It's, Jar -Jar it's a gong droid. Oh, the gong droid. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah you can just... It was just I a feel, droid. I feel so excluded so right now. As well. It's just a droid that does literally nothing, but you could play it in missions, but you so you just couldn't do anything. It was just a droid walking around. So you couldn't get hurt though, because it was only just a hunk of metal, so it yeah. damaged you. Yeah, it was just a hunk of metal. But, but search up gonk droid, Lego. It's just a yeah. block. Yeah. Feet, and then Lord. it moves at like, like go. 0 0.3 centimeters a second. Is this supposed to be. I don't know. What is it spelled? What, what, how do you spell? Uh, G O N K. Donk? And then. Oh, yeah, that's what I did look donk. up. So. Donk. It, it, it looks like just. I don't know. Crate with legs. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. So. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why though? Because, uh, you can play that, and you can the, walk around it at the speed of. <laughs> the <laughs> small little, the small dwarfs, the going. Gong droid has the, feelings as well. So story. Big metal blocks. They don't. They use gong droids. Just they have storage. Wait, dwarves? Wait, what are you talking about now? Um, you know the small dwarves that live on Tatooine in the big blocks? Oh, the Jawas. Yeah, the Jawas. They use the gong fruits. Oh yeah, true, yeah. Jawas. Jawas, I don't know what those are. I haven't played the games. They're in the movies as well. I haven't watched the movies. <laughs> Was that a sound of disappointment or...? Yes. <laughs> the gunk droid has feelings as well, says Dorian. Yeah. yeah. Does but it does it really? It, it's, it's just, just a, a crate with legs. You know, the gunk droid is really the, the original Sith. Yeah, it just... <laughs> doesn't review himself it's just a very <laughs> smart idea mind. yeah <laughs> controlling the universe ne next uh, next trilogy so disney makes it's just palpatine but he's in a gong because that's his <laughs> right, secret so plan. The gong 
Yeah. New secret weapon, the gong droid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be nice. That would be pretty funny, but I doubt I doubt that something like that happens. No, that's very realistic. Disney making yeah. a movie about a block. <laughs> very realistic for sure. I mean, wouldn't it be so inspirational if the block <laughs> did <laughs> <laughs> that would be the mentality behind Disney doing something like that. Oh, it's so inspirational. It's a gonk droid. <laughs> Can we all just identify as gonk droids? <laughs> I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if there's at least one person out there that sexually identifies as a gonk <laughs> droid. <laughs> kind of says we may have drifted a little bit off of, haze, of no. Horizon. I'm no, not. we didn't. Gong droids no, are I mean, canon we're, in we're Horizon. still talking about robots, so... Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, it was a Horizon want, podcast, okay, I forgot. Back to Horizon. Oh my goodness, it's a Horizon podcast, what a surprise. Holy shit, that's news to me. <laughs> How could I forget something so <laughs> important? <laughs> Do you have any more Ryzen topics? We have many. Uh, I'm looking at the list and uh, we kind of ran out of questions and oh, the no. ones that are left have uh, have been, you know... We haven't, we have got to complain about how shit mounts and climbing. We haven't complained oh, yeah. about how shit mounts are. So what's Damn. the deal with mounts? Oh, mounts shit. are the fucking worst, man. <laughs> Who? What, are your, what is your opinion on Mount Spring? Yeah. That's a, I mean, they I are think it's uh, an obvious question, but. Awesome machines. They are very cooperative. They always help get you off, in running. Get the fuck you. off our podcast <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, I think I have to, leave, have to leave this podcast three times over, over already. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mounts. The problem with Mounts is that they aren't aren't made for speedruns. They are made with casual yeah. play in mind. Did I say this with Kyder? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, but... I, I never had any problems with them playing casually, but when I started speedrunning, yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. I mean, now the the thing is, I don't think I really even use mouse when casually playing. I would just run everywhere. Because I honestly, after the first mount, you know you're forced to get a mount for uh, yeah. opening the gate. After that one, in my first playthrough, I forgot that there was a thing. I just kind of <laughs> played without them. Nice. I think I rolled the entire way from Embrace to Meridian after I unlocked the override thing. Because my machine did... got destroyed and I was too afraid to override a new one. <laughs> Nice. Worst machine in Horizon, <laughs> Mount or Glint Hawks. It's a difficult topic. Uh, mounts. Here's the thing though. Um, I think I think Glint Hawks are worse because with mounts, if they are nice to you, they actually save time because you don't have to roll somewhere. But with Glint Hawks, they're literally just in the way. No, no matter if how they you are nice it. and they just die, they help you too. Yeah, but it, it's different, I feel. Yeah, okay. That's true. So Glint Glint Dorian, Arcs are just pure evil and mounts may still have some good inside of them. Yeah, I mean they're blue. When you override them it's blue, so how could it not be good? Yeah, true. So Dorian uh Dorian proposed a question. What are your expectations for Forbidden West? Oh, um my expectation. Um I don't know. I wonder if I'm gonna enjoy Forbidden West as much as I did Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. I mean, I, I yeah. think it's gonna be a very good game, of course, but it's not gonna be so. easy to simulate the same feeling um, with the with the players as you do with Horizon Zero Dawn. Because yeah, I mean... in, in the HD, it's, it's a new world, and you have exactly. to find out what happened. And I feel like maybe in Forbidden West, It'll feel more like maybe just a huge DLC because you know, kind of know the world. You know what happened. You know why the machines are there. 
but you just have a new story with uh with it's an yeah, just stuff. Feel like you know, plot you know, twist it's not an actual it's game it's just a massive <laughs> dlc yeah but you get what i mean like it's not I, I, yeah yeah but uh, i still think i'm it's gonna be a lot of fun i, I also wonder so. whether, whether my um um like my <laughs> speed running if that's gonna change my views on the rest of Bitter West. I don't know I think it will. at it. Probably. Yeah. But, going but in a good the, way. Thing about like I think I think about the the game like background and stuff. I hope that we'll, we'll get to see like more of silence in Forbidden West. Cuz it's like a character that you don't know much about really. It's just told you yeah. like, or the eclipse and stuff. Yeah, I think no, Silas yeah. Silas is definitely gonna come back. Wait, definitely it's confirmed because he was in the trailer, but Yeah. I mean is the Ah oh, god damn it, I've forgotten what I was going to say again. Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember now. Uh, I think speedrunning uh speedrunning a game like Horizon and going into the sequel with that speedrunning experience, I think it can only really impact your views of the game negatively. It might not it might not change much but i think your opinion of forbidden yeah. west will be lower just because of the fact you speed run speed ran zero dawn yeah could be Maybe but i am because you have such a strong bond with hcd that every diesel that's bad about H whereas forbidden west or a diesel that you are not used to with HCD that that's changed that that's gonna make you feel disappointed because you're so used to HCD and you so like that so much but Rise Forbidden West is gonna be different and I don't know if that's gonna be like nice yeah, because with something the, different with the weapon change right they showed a lot of new stuff with like the yeah. spear and stuff I'm not sure if I'll like that because I kind of like the simplicity of just heavy attack slash light attack. Yeah, but I mean, is is the combat in Horizon Zero Dawn simple? I, I would say no, definitely not. It's not simple, but, but it is uh, intuitive. Let's put it, it that way. True, but the thing is, you have so many choices of what to do. You can so many uh, ways you can plan an attack, but all the ways are simple. But there are just so many choices, and I think that's good. That's what's good about Rise of Zero Dawn, that you can choose your own way, but it's not doesn't have to be complex or anything. You can yeah. just go through everything with fire arrows and just burn everything to death. Or you can make and make it complex if you want, but that's your choice. And I think that's what what's good about it. So I hope with the new uh, melee mechanics, I hope it's not necessary to complete the game. I hope uh, they added it and. Maybe you can use it if you want to use that. Yeah, if, we, if but, you want to really get delve yeah. deep into the combat. But if you don't like that, then you should be able to have a nice experience without uh, using that too much. Maybe. Yeah. That's um, my opinion. I was, going, I was going to say something. Oh yeah, I was going to say that I am very excited to see how the glider and the climbing will affect speedruns in been west because i do hope yeah. we get to use yeah, it at least good. a little bit and yeah, definitely reason, i mean you have no fall damage anymore that's gonna be yeah. huge so that's gonna be massive depending on what the game's like because and whenever i think of uh, using the glider i always envision myself on top it's just well aloy of course not myself on a mountain like a specific mountain near the ring of metal and then just jumping off that with the glider there's nothing else with that, but it's just that's what I think about every time I think of the glider. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe but we'll I get a, a mount that can fly. I hope so. That would be sick. That would be awesome. Override a Stormbird. <laughs> I mean, you can't override yeah. a Stormbird, but if you could ride it, I'm just saying. Wait, you got these new machines, right? Or is it Sun Wings? Sun wings or something? I think that's what we call them, but is it official that that is their name? I'm not sure. Um, maybe, but I hope maybe you, you can write those. Sun wings. 
Yes. Yeah, I'm just finding the sky, claw striders, and tremor tusks on land and snap moss. Okay. List of machines in Horizon Forbidden West. Okay, let's see here. Well, the first, the first um, post that came up is a Reddit post. Stormbirds are confirmed for HFW, and it's a picture of a sun of a sun thing. Oh. <laughs> nice. Do you think think all machines will uh, come back in Horizon Forbidden West? Yeah. I think, uh, snap yeah. Moss, I think snap moths are coming back certainly right yeah yeah small boy snap moths are coming I... back what do you guys think of snap moths because personally i think they're cool to blow up yeah but aside <laughs> from really that bad. yeah but uh, if you get the underwater things maybe they'll get more interesting because they oh yeah we go more. i completely forgot we can go underwater in forbidden west i completely forgot about that yeah, I think it's awesome. gonna be a lot of fun going on the yeah. water. That should have been sick. Mm. But yeah, I think there are also gonna be machines that are not returning in Forbidden West. And yeah, definitely. Machines like maybe the Behemoth. It's it's a nice machine, but it's not common and not as it's not not one of the general machines. I think the like Behemoth general might... machines like Plains Hawks probably and uh, mounts and. Yeah. Watches, those will come back, but to be honest, I think I think uh, behemoths are slightly more likely to make a return because they are Gaia machines and they are used to uh, they were used to carry stuff around. I think we I think I talked about this with Dorian a few yeah. weeks ago on my stream. I guess story wise that makes sense, but story wise it makes sense. Yeah. Then you would more expect maybe I don't know. There's this glints, please. Thunder jaw. <laughs> don't come to Forbidden West, Glint Hawks, please. <laughs> Say and sit yeah. on Ima Imagine Glint Hawks on steroids. What would that be like? It's just what a stormbird like? with extra steps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. A uh, freezing stormbird. I was, was going to say something. I keep forgetting what I want to say. <laughs> Come on, Flora. It's a it's very really handy annoying. podcast. Yeah. A podcast that relies completely on you saying something and then you forget what you're going to say. Yeah. Nice. So, what what were you going to say, Flora? Oh, yeah. I sort of remember. Uh, it has to do with <laughs> Thunder Jaws. I think um, Thunder Jaws, are they likely to make a return or not? Because on one side yes. they are... Yeah. Story-wise, they are very new machines. Yes, but they are definitely going to come back, I'd say. They are the, the biggest, maybe the most famous machines of Horizon Zero Dawn. They, they are the biggest in Horizon Zero Dawn, but in Forbidden West, we have Tremor Tusks. And also in the trailer, yeah. that was that turtle. I don't even know what it was. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, what's it called? who would, wouldn't want to see a Tremor Tusk in a Thunderjaw fight? Wouldn't that be awesome? It would. Just a T-Rex and a Mammoth fighting, but then they are metallic. I want to fight that big ass turtle thing we saw in the trailer. Oh uh, yeah, that would be trailer. nice. That would I be really nice. want to fight it. <laughs> because it just yeah. seems also the fact that it's just hiding underground, like big, pretty much a rock breaker with extra steps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder how that's gonna be with, with the spawns of those turtles. I really hope they just hide underground and they just yeah, pop but out in front of you. If they have oh, certain spots only where they can spawn, where they like the foliage is um, made by the game developers, so they can hide there. Then there are only certain spots where they can spawn, and you, after a while, you know those spots, so it's gonna be less of a surprise or did they um, make it so they can hide underground anywhere? Here's the thing about that, right? Because that the same the same thing basically applies to what they called um, it's just uh, machine spawn areas as a whole. What they called the the packs, the groups of machines. Yeah. What are they called? Um. Herds? No, they're not called herds. Like, 
on your map, what is it called to disable like machine spawning locations? Um, sites. Sites, yes, yeah, sites, sites, machine sites, exactly. Yeah. Um, with those, you also know that there can be machines there after a while. Of course, there's going to be way more machine sites than just, you know, turtle sites. Yeah. But still. Sneaky turtle. True. That's kind Sneaky of turtle. I, I love... I really want to fight the turtle. It's just a very bulky enemy. I it's, hope it's going it to be... It seems so cool to fight. And if its yeah. spawns are a bit more randomized... In my head, I just have this image where it's just like... You hope a turtle spawns somewhere and then you just get on top of them and use them to do a skip. Oh, yeah. I kind of hope that, that doesn't be happen up. because RNG. <laughs> yeah. That would make the RNG very prominent. Maybe it's gonna be just very RNG heavy the whole run. I hope not. I really dislike RNG in speed games. Yeah, true. But I mean, Horizon is a perfect run for you, I guess. If I mean, Horizon has some RNG, RNG right? Especially yes. in any percent. But very little, I'd say. Yeah, I'm definitely, other games. definitely glad that Horizon doesn't have, you know, just a ton of RNG. Yeah. RNG machine spawns, no kiter. We don't need that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, if you have the sun, sun wing, or sun, the glider, that's what yeah. I meant. Uh, I guess if that's fast, it would sometimes be a better strategy to just climb up high and fly away. I, I guess that would sometimes, if you spawn somewhere, somewhere high, just remove the need for mounts. It would. So I also hope that the glider is as fast, or faster even, than a mount, because that would make mount, you know, RNG. It's not too bad most of the time. It would make mounts less necessary. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in, in any percent... Or main game, just in general, mount spawns are a big problem. In Smash, that's like, it is. But... That's the one big RNG point in New Game Plus. I don't think there's really much else except for maybe some enemies here and there to hide or not hide. Um, that, that's like the one big yeah, RNG and, element, let's say. And the machines that spawn on the road. That's uh, also so a big one. Oh yeah, those. Plus. So, uh, I have a. I just remembered that I had a notepad file open on which I wrote a few things that I wanted to mention. To remember that I had that. Interesting. Yeah, so, first of all, hunting ground RNG for the Summer Cup. Oh, it, yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. Especially on Firefight. Yeah. I, 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 um, they suck. Yeah. But Especially, I think there is also a lot of skill involved still in the hunting grounds, because even with the worst RNG at firefight, if you aim perfectly, you can always make it. I would say. I don't like, think that's completely true on story, because even if you aim perfectly, aim assist can just throw the arrow away. Of course. I think if you aim perfectly, they always hit. If you really aim good. I don't think so. I think aim assist can still um, just throw because I've had that I just aim directly at the canister and the arrow just flies into the strider's body instead because the aim assist doesn't make a difference between weak spot and non weak spot in that case because it's a fire arrow. Okay. No, I, I haven't had that, I think. Maybe I have, I just didn't notice it, but. You had that insanely lucky stuff, in the insanely yeah. lucky shot in our match. Yeah, that was really lucky. I went and w watched the VOD back, and I was like, "Damn it! How did he hit that?" Yeah, <laughs> Wait, what shot? that was so lucky. Like always, when I when you shoot that one, when one runs away and you try to hit it, it's already like I don't have any confidence in it hitting, and I'm already mentally preparing on walking after it but it hit somehow and i was really surprised because yeah. you don't even expect that uh, i mean if i were to make it try and sh a shot like that i wouldn't expect to make it either no that's with aim assist it's even harder i think 
Can you? Let me see if I can uh... I do aim really weirdly. It's... It sucks. Yeah, let me see if I can get the moment. Or maybe even clip. Oh no, maybe Korean can off. show it. Yeah, uh, let me see at what point in the run it is. Let's see. It's around. Uh, I think it's here. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. My goodness, auto aim helped so much in that. During, well, it's normally it's yeah, the, yeah. you don't have to aim in front on story, but with the canisters you do. Yeah, so it's in. Uh, let me just put it in the chat right here. It's this link right here, and then it's around thirty-four minutes that the shot happens. Around thirty-four minutes in. Yeah. It was a crazy shot because you aim like directly on the side and the arrow just <laughs> goes straight up to the side of your bow. Wait, did I aim on the canister? I think I aimed in front of it, right? I think, no, I think you aimed, let me have another look at it. So I, I think I was... No, you aimed directly at the canister as far as oh, I can okay. tell and then the arrow just shot sideways. Oh, then I was really mistaken just then because I thought I aim in front of it but that's not true and ultra hard you have to do that because no aim yeah. assist but... when i did my first ultra hard run i remember i was just missing so many shots yeah because i was like you actually have to aim what a novel concept yeah that's, aim. that's a really weird feeling yeah also because once, uh, you, once you get used to it yeah I mean, Always when I switch between story and ultra hard, I have to mentally change, <laughs> like whether I have to shoot directly in the enemy or just in front of it. Yeah. I mean, Dude, I... Alt's a fucking beast when it comes to uh, not or having aim. Like, it's, it's yeah, but I mean, as someone who spent so much time on a game, you can't really call them good. You can just say bored. He's just really bored. He's <laughs> just bored. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, seriously, if El Elka spends so much time grinding down on Ultra Hard, that it's not surprising, to be honest, that his aim is so. Yeah, pushed. that's true. The problem but is I mean, he is the only one that did it, so. Yeah. Oh, and looks like we have some technical issues. Yo, you've added a browser source. Nice. Good job. You've added a browser source. <laughs> browser sources let you display a web page from the internet. Oh, it's gone. I'm adoring. It's black screen. What's the deal with black screens? What's this? Oh. The black screen just moves. It moves. <laughs> nice. I don't know why that was so funny to me. It just looked so funny. Just the black screen just moving into position. Oh yeah, nice. We job Dorian. Job Dorian. Oh, Woo. Woo. I don't think the black screen is really doing anything. It's not, not working, working though. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Actually, I can just send the uh, Dorian. If uh, this doesn't work, I'll look up the um. The YouTube link, because if I remember correctly, you said that YouTube links do work. Let me just look up the YouTube uh, version. This is not an Epic Gamer move. What? Why can't you just make it work? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, hey, oh, do you I... got it. Nice. Wait, you, you got it to work? Yeah. Nice. You probably turn it off and on again. That works. <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and on again? What time? Um, what time? Flew? It was around 34 minutes in. Oh yeah, just a little bit let's, more forward. Uh, let's have a look at the shot. Oh yeah, I'm at the right. I was looking at the left. So I missed that one. 
Yeah, you're can on. I miss another time? Oh no, oh, yeah. I hit the first one. And you this is a shot. Here it is. Boom. Holy shit. It's, not yeah, it's crazy. Oh. Like, what? Who needs one more? Oh. oh my and here I realized, I like, I did roll down because I wanted to run yeah. and catch it, but. <laughs> on pooing Holy shit. Stuff. Where are they? Uh -huh. Oh, Just rolled after it because honestly, I wouldn't have expected yes. to hit a shot like that either. No, no. The, I mean, that's you the shouldn't kind of shot. Have to hit that because that's just oh, shit. Wow. random. Aim is yeah, it is in action. <laughs> you just have to hope that it hits, but don't expect it. That's basically the rule when it comes to shooting in Horizon. Don't expect to hit the shot, especially True. now with a shot like this. So, uh, want to mention a blaze skip for a summer cup because here it just says blaze skip is a double edged sword. You get faster blaze, but you get a worse enemy pattern. Yeah. That's true, I think. Because I yeah. remember my bellow back in our race, it was awful. <laughs> just stood back the entire oh, time. Oh, yeah. But did you do the skip then? I did because yeah, I accidentally bought oh, the sharp shot bow, right? Oh, so okay. Yeah, it was I like, well, really I basically have back. to in order to try and maybe just barely clutch yeah. out the win, but yeah. Yeah, I had a really good battle back and he walked all the way towards me and then I, I got a good explosion and killed quite a lot of people with it, I think. Yeah, so I mean, I, that, that's the thing about Summer Cup, right? It's just RNG. Yeah. In a lot of spots. You have to play well, and you need to get good RNG. Yeah, and I'm typically not good at doing both of those things. <laughs> if I get good RNG, I'll play bad. If I get bla if I play well, I get bad RNG. That's I got, basically how it goes. I got lucky with both of those things, because for some reason I played well without <laughs> practice. Just a little yeah. bit of practice. Yeah. And I got good RNG. That was... I, I still don't understand. Yeah, I mean, I got I got so many even just small things, right? I think Psycho also mentioned it, and while he was doing commentary, I even got a, a group of bandits spawning in the middle of the road, blocking my mount. So there were a bunch of oh. small things as well that yeah. just went wrong. And now I have to have a chance to get get the double, both yeah. the, win the summer cup and win the prediction. I, yeah, but I mean, at this point, you're in all likelihood going to do both, right? Because my prediction is already... There's no way any of the rest of my prediction is right, because it doesn't have you in Grand Finals, I think. <gasps> what? That's not nice. I think it has you in yeah, Winner's but, Finals, yeah, and then... Yeah, I, I lose to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but not going to lie, my prediction is just me winning everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the same. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. And that's why I'm on top, because most people got me losing against Elk. But I won that one, and then I think yeah, after I had, that point, I it was ahead. Losing. I had you lose. I had you. Actually, yeah, no, I had you. I, I think I had you, know, you, I had you I, losing against You had me Elk. winning. Losing? Yeah. Huh. It looks like. It, it's it's a very strange system how uh, Challenge makes it look whether you got it right, but. I did have you losing in my prediction. Okay. I had. I almost had the exact thing. What happened? What's happening now? I think I uh, actually got the, all the finals right. You at versus me and me winning, and now you versus Elk. Because I uh, expected, like, predicted me to win against Elk, and Elk make it to the losers final, and then <laughs> me winning to you in the final. Of course. So I just. I just <laughs> made myself win everything, even though yeah, I, I, did really didn't, I didn't expect to, but I was just like, why not? <laughs> might as well, might as well I get know. a bit cocky here with my prediction. Yeah, I, I remember filling it in together with a friend, and I was telling that friend, yeah, I'm just gonna make myself win everything. I'm gonna win everything, I'm gonna yeah. destroy all of my opponents. <laughs> I think also, um, who is, who I still haven't found out who is the prediction called Flood, the one in second place? Oh, that's me. Wait, that's not 
That's not you, Fleur. Yeah, Dorian was surprised when he found out too. That's not me. That's, pretty <laughs> That's not, not you. That's <laughs> me. I didn't know how to make one properly, so I just said that he was gonna win. Oh, <laughs> oh <strong. laughs> My prediction. My prediction is oh, for nice. Fleur's prediction, and I'm in seventh place. Oh, right now we have an answer. I always strong. thought you were in second, Fleur. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crush your expectations uh, of me brewing, but that's not me. That's why I thought do that I, you made me. Do I win anything win if I Falcon. if I rank one or? You only win if you rank yeah. one, I think. I would yeah. like it for my ego if you also got if you get top three, but uh. Oh damn! There's like happening. a huge gap between two and three. Like I got thirty-seven, uh, Straw got thirty-five, and then the number three got twenty-six. So yeah. It is pretty strange, but then again, um, the outcome of the tournament was very unexpected, I'd say. Um, I think a lot of players that I didn't expect to play as well played better than I expected. Uh, Clooney was very good, much better Clooney than I expected. Clooney was way better than I expected. I immediately predicted him to lose against Charlton, but he didn't, he won. Yeah. Um, then... I mean... Did he face more? I think it was. Let me look it up. Corey? I think he faced Corey. And then yeah. he won against Marin too. Oh, he played. He played against, played against thirty-four. Then he won that. And then he played against. Well, the game against Marin. I I don't know if it was like before the tournament. Tournament. I would have said Marin won, but it was already apparent that Clooney was actually really good when he first raced Charlton. Yeah, it was it was surprising to see that I guess Clooney did better than expected. Mm -hmm. And also with uh, Charlie, I expected Charlie to get further into the tournament, but that didn't ha happen. I think my prediction has Charlie winning against Clooney and then winning against Dorian and losing against me. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dorian had a, has had a really unfortunate tournament. He won he against him. Clooney, which is pretty yeah. nice since Clooney's pretty good. And then he faced two of the best opponents, you and Elk, after yeah, each other, he... and he just got knocked out. Yeah, he had a really oh, unfortunate bracket. Clooney think... played a lot of games. He, he played like one, two, three, four, five, six, six games, I think. Damn. I think I, I've only played three because I have four four wins, of course, but anybody cancelled. Yeah. Of course, in the tournament, so I didn't play that one. So I've only played, played three matches. I played four. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Dorian says he's happy with this tournament at the time that you wanted to get. Wait. Did oh, it? Did Marin even race Clooney? Yeah, she did. Right. Yeah, in losers round four, and uh, Clooney won. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then uh, Elk won against Clooney in losers semis, and now it's me versus Elk in losers final. And I should be able to beat him, but I don't know. I have to be honest. I haven't practiced at all this week. So, Marin did not race against Clooney. She did. Uh, she for Four. didn't she forfeit? I don't know. Oh yeah, she forfeit at some point, didn't she? Yeah. Is that before or after the race against? I'm assuming it was before. But then she didn't play against them. I don't. Know. I can't really remember. I don't, I don't know I either. Remember. I think I think uh, quite a few people. For if it's straw uh, because you were on vacation. Anybody straw yeah. and Marin? I had to forfeit yeah. my second match. <laughs> I, I also I'm not trying to sound like an asshole here, but Lizardry shouldn't have advanced past straw. I feel. No, you know, but my time was shit, so Lizardry would probably beat me either way. He wouldn't. His time was in the fifty minutes, I believe. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think. Yeah, well done. <laughs> That's <laughs> another 
Oh, yeah. You would have had uh, a chance, Tra. You would have had a chance. I think I, I even said that. My, I got run for my place. <laughs> but I think also uh, Melon also forfeited before the tournament started. Wait, who? Right? Who? Oh, Melancholy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but that's not really a forfeit, I guess. Yeah, it it, it was it sort of was, I guess, but sort of not. <laughs> I wonder if there's gonna be a next uh, a new cup soon. I hope so. Maybe with Very much hope Christmas so. or something. Yeah, like a winter, winter cup, cup, Christmas cup, whatever. Oh, that would something. be so cool having a Christmas cup. I I was so I was so happy when I woke up one morning and just saw the announcement in Discord. Um, yeah, everyone, Christmas we're doing a tournament. Christmas cup has like... to do with some has something to do with Frozen Worlds. It's gotta be. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just I smack percent, I... smack percent, yes, smack, smack percent tournament, smack percent tournament. <laughs> What's gonna be the final? Ooh, ooh, oh. I wonder if it's we'll going win. to be Kyder we'll and win. Brewing. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, smack percent. I think smack percent is just too short to make a tournament yeah. out of, really? unless it's not something like best of three or something. I could, I can get around that. Yeah, otherwise. It would be RNG, just only RNG. Well, not only it's practice a lot, but yeah. Once you get I to mean, is there point, RNG besides the mount spawn in Smack? Um, not really, but there are some things that are really hard to uh, take in account. Yeah, and I guess like one of the things, things I'd say is, is on PC mostly when you uh, do the very first climb. Sometimes it's really hard to tell whether you're still running or not, and then you don't know where, whether you have to toggle sprint again. And you save quite a lot of time, maybe even one second if you get that like down real smooth. You keep running constantly, but sometimes you stop running and you don't know, and you just keep walking. And that's only on PC because on PlayStation you can just keep pressing L3, but on PC that's harder because you toggle split print and you'll turn yeah. it off again. So. I mean that's the reason I kinda of destroy my thumbs whenever I play. Yeah. <laughs> Especially my left one, because for some reason I have this instinct in my head, keep pressing L3, keep pressing L3. <laughs> and so if you press that your thumb just gets absolutely crushed over time. Yeah. Because obviously it's not that easy of a button to press. Yeah, it's true. Thumbs though. Doran says that he wouldn't join a tournament with an existing category if we do a tournament we need a new category yeah that's true that's a do agree with that because it's like with an existing category like even if we just ignore the barrier that you know categories like new game plus any percent might be too long for a full tournament even then it's like it comes down to your experience in that category but if we do a new one you have to route yourself, find strats yourself. I think that's also yeah, just more interesting as a whole. If we're doing a category that's already existing, the like you, you already know the outcome. Like the top runners are gonna get, are gonna go. True. Uh, yeah. Further than the new ones who have no, uh, like it's called for, uh, experience in the run. Yeah, very true. True. I mean, if we if we did a New Game Plus tournament to New Game Plus story, for example, we already know that in all likelihood it would be, yeah, you know, if RC participated, RC, Ibrahim, yeah, of course. Destroy everyone. <laughs> RC, you gotta just, give RC like a fucking handicap. You gotta play. Yeah. RC, RC needs a five minute penalty at the start of this <laughs> uh, run. Five minutes isn't I, enough. Five minutes. I got an idea. Minutes. I I swap my PlayStation with Aussie's PC for that race, <laughs> so he has to experience how it feels like. Just, just go into his house, just steal his PC, put your yeah. PS4 instead. <laughs> they did. They did. I uh, run on PS5 and they complained about how slow the loads were. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Fleur, you saw the message, right? I did. I did. Well, yes, Straw, if you want to do the honors. Yes, I would like to. I didn't to, see yeah. the message. 
No, you didn't because it's we in the. It's in the we have, have a secret know. channel which uh, <laughs> which only us three can access. Yes. So nice. uh, once again, we got a message from our manager <laughs> telling us to wrap it up as he wants the target length or time of the podcast to be one forty-five. So oh, we'll uh, quit here and uh, I just want to say thank you to Brian okay, for. Bye coming on the podcast yeah. and uh also thanks to Fleur for uh, being such a good co-host and then we have the, the last question of the night yeah what is a the very deal important one and food uh can you answer me that i never know no, no. You can think but about that's that a question, question for next. Off. I think did we get cut off? I think we might have gotten cut off. Yes. I don't know. Wait. It doesn't matter. Let me listen. It's okay. I no, think we, we did. did. Cut off. We not? Oh, we're still live. Ah. <laughs> still <here. laughs> yeah, they can still hear us. <laughs> oh no! Because last time when that screen showed up, uh, we did get cut off. But yeah. So yeah, I just want to say you can think about that all night. Please tell us if you have an answer because we really want to know what the deal with airplane food is. <laughs> right. Well, I want to thank you both and Dorian for um, having me and Dorian for um, setting it all up because it, it's a lot of work for Dorian, I think. And it's it, just it awesome that he, that he does that. And thank you for coming up with this concept because it's, it's such a fun idea. I really yeah. enjoyed it's being really here nice. and... Uh, by the way, before, I hope. before we leave, um, is anyone in chat interested in coming on the next episode? And we are, actually, we already, Ambassa, Ambassa already reached yeah, out to me and Ambassa. said he Ambassa. would like to uh, oh, nice. be a guest. And also, again, I also want to thank Doreen real quick. Thank you for doing all of this for free. That's absolutely insane. You uh, can do all of this for free. And thank you, Brewing, as well, for... Uh, Coming on with us and talking for almost two hours. <laughs> no problem, I had a lot of fun. And I wish you a lot of luck next week. Talking about uh, hunting grounds, I suspect. Oh, Probably. I have, a, I have a bit of beef with the boss of the Equals Challenge. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, listened, we, listened, we saw the clip last time. Yeah, so uh, we'll see you We'll see you all next week at uh, Friday 7 Possibly 6:30 p.m., uh, but we will send a message probably in the main Horizon Discord channel, or, uh, main Horizon Speedrun Discord channel. Whether it's at 6:30 or at 7, that depends on whether Dorian has the time or not. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for Straw for being here and Brewing for being here and Dorian, of course, for managing it. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Bye bye. You can read that. Yeah.